My name is Daniel. I've been dancing for like 14 years. I first started dancing in 2000. Currently, I'm teaching like four to five classes a week here in, in the Groove Studios in Oakland. And uh, not only do I teach, but I also direct my dance company, which is Groove Against the Machine. And then I also dance with uh, Project M. I, I first started dancing in college when I went to San Jose State. There was like a, a hip hop course there. I just instantly was like, whoa, this is, this is tight, like, I fell in love with it from the very first class. I just wanted to, wanted to learn more and more and did um, Akbayan Modern at SJSU. From there, I met like so many dancers, I met so many like cool people, and actually I met uh, like a few people from the dance community through Akbayan Modern. These girls from B-Side, people from Versatile Styles, and yeah, a lot of dancers from San Jose. That introduced me into this whole like dance scene. So I was like literally blown away. It's like, dude, this is crazy. Like, this is so much fun. Like, everyone's so cool. So that's what really got me into the dance world. And then from there, um, I danced with Versatile Styles. I danced with them for about a season. I also danced with Fusion Dance Company and they were uh, based out in San Francisco. After that, I danced with uh, Culture Shock. And Culture Shock Oakland was like my real first taste of like really meeting a huge dance community because uh, Culture Shock is worldwide. All over the nation, East Coast, LA, Las Vegas, San Diego, and even like Switzerland and Canada. Dancing, from dancing with them for about two years, so it was like my first real like, wow, this is more than just a hobby. This is like a lifestyle. And this is like, um, it's, it's like, it's life, <laughs> so. My teachers from Mind Tricks, uh, they were their group from, from San Jose. Uh, Randy Bernal was one of my very first teachers. Gilbert, I don't know his last name, but they were both in Mind Tricks. And they were the two that really got me started in dancing and really motivated to want to be like them and just just really train. I really, really admired their style and they were the ones who got me into to dancing. So I would definitely say uh, those two. Now that I'm like dancing more, I trained under a lot of people too. Alan Frias is one person that I, that I got to train under. Definitely a huge influence on my style right now. Beto O'Connor. I trained with him in Culture Shock and uh, right now he's, he's dancing and choreographing and teaching in LA. So he's still a huge inspiration for me right now and he definitely has a big impact on like how I dance. Beto, Nico O'Connor is one of the biggest supporters of my career. In particular, that has been there for me like since the beginning. One of them is Leslie. She dances with me in Groove right now. Leslie Pinage Pact. And then uh, Joanne Molson also is another person that believed in me and what I wanted to do. And they were always right by my side. They believed that what I wanted to bring to this community, it could happen. Yeah, so Culture Shock was a great experience for me because I was able to get a taste of uh, directorship, choreography, and being part of like artistic circle. Being part of that made me want to definitely branch off and, and try to do it on my own. I left Culture Shock along with a few dancers. We started Groove Against the Machine. But in the very beginning, it was just us just meeting once a week, just practicing, teaching each other the choreography, uh, making choreography together. That's how it started, actually. Back when I first started, probably within like 2000, 2001, there wasn't that many crews actually in the Bay. There was probably a, a handful, like I could probably count them on my hands. Each crew, not only did they know each other, but we were we always showed support for each other no matter what. And it wasn't about like, uh, oh, who's better than who, um, like, or, or who won this competition or whatnot. Everyone was very close knit. Everyone did all the shows, like all the time, no matter what show it was, whether it was a competition or if it was like a college show, dance show, or no matter how big or small the show was, 
everyone would always go and show support for each other. I feel like that's definitely the biggest difference uh, between back then and now, because now there's so many dance crews. And not only that, are there, there's so many dance crews and just that camaraderie is not really there anymore. That would definitely be the biggest thing, I would say. I mean, it's it's both good and bad. I feel like, like dance in general has like blown up recently, obviously because of YouTube, because of uh, like TV shows and stuff like that. Like nowadays, uh, everyone you know wants to be a dancer or want, wants to get into dance because because it looks cool, so to say. You know, not that it's a bad thing. I, I think it's great that dance is being blown up the way it is, and there's so many like fresh faces that really want to get into it. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of like borderline, well, are you, what, for what reasons are you dancing? Are you, are you dancing because you really like, love it and have passion for it? Or is it because you, you're just trying to be the cool kid? Um, I think nowadays a lot of dancers um, don't know, don't have basics, don't have foundation, and don't even know about it, don't care to know about it. They just want to do choreography. And uh, and do do other things or do way harder things um, before even trying to get the basic foundations down first. Yeah, it's only hard if if you're not willing to learn. But there's definitely classes out there that you could take that teach um, old school hip hop, that teach uh, like house, they teach hopping, uh, uh, you know, those are like the real foundational skills that you need in order to be good at choreography. There's a handful of dancers nowadays that, that do study the foundation and um, the style from back then, but not everyone does. And uh, you could tell who the amazing dancers are because they have the foundation down. I do like that um, people's styles has evolved into something way more lyrical and meaningful and um, from the heart. And it really uh, reads uh, when you see um, like a choir for, from today, like you, it reads through their dancing. Whereas uh, before, you know, it wasn't as like, more on like just on the counts, just about the beats. So yeah, it was still raw, it's still dope and full out, but now it's definitely, you could tell like it's, it's, it's from within. And um, I love that. That's, that's the thing that I love the most. Yeah. I like to cook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Biggest thing that keeps me motivated would probably be whenever I teach class and my students. I have a wide range of or students with a wide range of skill level. Um, I, sometimes I'll have students that come take class for the very first time. And I have students that have been you know, dancing for a long time. Um, but it's when the dancers or when the students that come in and they've never taken a class, and they tell me that they love class so much, and like that's definitely my a huge motivation for me to keep wanting to uh, to continue to do what I do. Because uh, for someone else to come up to me and tell me that um, they love they loved it is that just means a lot, even if it's just one person. I mean, I definitely had my moments where I felt like I was stagnant, not growing, not getting any better. Just watching all my other peers. Like excel so much higher and faster than me, kind of uh, definitely put a huge like um, negative effect on on myself and my dancing because I just felt like I was like, damn, well, why are all my friends excelling so much faster and getting better and doing bigger things, but I am still here doing what I do, but not even improving at all. I was you know second guessing myself, questioning my ability. Okay, like, what am I doing? Am I wasting my time? Wasting my money? Just kept dancing, kept kept learning, kept taking classes, stayed positive, and um, I don't know. Just one day, it just it just clicked. Well, one of my main goals actually was, uh, or still is, um, I would love to be part of Ca Carnival Choreographer Showcase, and that's uh, in LA. It's definitely one huge goal of mine to do. I want to be into freestyling more. When it comes to freestyling, I suck, I get nervous, uh, 
I freeze. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to get into like the, the freestyle scene more. So I've been taking uh, I've been taking like house classes, you know, just like foundational classes, and that that helps with getting better at um, freestyling. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Uh, blue. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to ask. <laughs> There's like four shades of blue. I know. <laughs> I really feel like dance is a, it's a personal thing. A lot of it comes from the heart. Whether if you are choreographing or, or um, taking class or learning from you know someone else, the biggest thing would be just to uh, stay true to yourself and just really dance from within. Try not to be anyone else. Just uh, you know. Be yourself and show your true colors through through your dancing. Yeah, I think that's definitely most important, and people will see that and embrace that and appreciate it. <laughs>